What's on your travel checklist for 2024? Well, the UN says this year, international tourism will return to pre-pandemic strength. But Southeast Asia, one of the last regions to reopen, has been slower to recover, with 30% fewer tourists last year than 2019. That's according to UN tourism data. In this month's show, I travel to the ASEAN Tourism Forum to find out how countries here in Southeast Asia plan to bounce back. We got a trade again, let's go. Plus, we head to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas to see the latest EV offerings from the Asian market. I'm Christy Lu Stout in Laos for the ASEAN Tourism Forum, and this is Marketplace Asia. I've been anticipating today's travel plans with some intrigue. I'm about to take CNN's first ride on a Chinese-built high-speed train, not in China, but in Laos in Southeast Asia. The rail, part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, has not only transformed travel here, but it could herald a new era of connectivity in Southeast Asia. It is morning here at the Ventian train station, and we've been watching crowds of travelers come through families, student groups, even the odd stray dog, and they're all dwarfed by this huge, imposing architecture, which is something akin to a train station you'd find inside China. In fact, all the signage here is in Lao, English, and Chinese. Open in 2021, the rail cost close to $6 billion, over a third of Laos's GDP in 2022. Formerly 10-hour journeys by bumpy bus can now be done in two. All right, let's talk again in half an hour, okay? The route runs from Laos, connecting to Kunming in China, and is part of a wider pan-Asian network that, when it's built, is set to run through Vietnam, Thailand, Myanmar, and Malaysia down to Singapore. While Chinese investment seems abundant in Southeast Asia, Chinese tourists have not. Hopes were high that Chinese travelers would return to Southeast Asia after China reopened its borders. But by Q3, there were still 53% fewer Chinese travelers than in 2019. That's according to S&P Global. At the ASEAN Tourism Forum, I sat down with the CEO of online travel agency Agoda, Omri Morgenstern, who says Indian and South Korean wanderlust is filling the Chinese traveler gap. India stepped into the top five uh, origins for Asian. And I think that trend will continue. And uh, I think Korea is one of those countries that is surprising because smaller, but really top first for so many countries, like uh, top one, uh, like Vietnam, Indonesia. Philippines. Philippines, exactly. So amazing. There's something magical happening there. Koreans love to travel. And I think you'll see that trend continuing. I asked the Philippines Department of Tourism Secretary, Christina Garcia Frasco, to elaborate on this new trend. Last year, over 5 million international tourists visited the Philippines, and the biggest source country of those international tourists is South Korea. Correct. South Koreans love the Philippines. They love our diving. They love our cultural immersions, as well as our English as a second language program. The Philippines is uh, one of the most preferred destinations for ESL in the country. They're going to the Philippines to learn English. Yes, and not only that, take weekend trips to go visit our whale sharks or swim with our sardines or play golf uh, as they learn English. According to UN tourism data, Thailand saw some of the biggest growth in tourist arrivals globally. I sat down with Thailand's Minister of Sports and Tourism, Sudawan Wang Subaki Kaksong, to discuss plans for the future. Eight new airlines are launching in Thailand this year. Is Bangkok turning into a major travel hub? We'd like Bangkok or Thailand to be hubs of everything, not just aviation, but a tourism hub, festival and event hub. Event and music-based tourism will be big this year, according to Trip.com and Agoda's 2024 trend reports. Wait, Taylor Swift broke your systems? Usually the, the way we know that there is an, an event in Singapore is we, we just see it within minutes. Singapore is getting blocked 
within like two minutes. The only question is whether it's Coldplay or Taylor Swift. But you're seeing event-based tourism works. Yes. It brings in the punters. So for Singapore, absolutely. I think that's part of the, the, the thing that they're trying to do again. Obviously with Formula One that they're doing all the time. Trend reports have also predicted the rise of not jet setting, but set jetting, AKA TV and film inspired tourism. Are you talking about work or Gabrielle? Paris. Oh. Expedia Group says it saw a 200% increase in searches to Paris after Emily in Paris debuted its previous season. Aloha. A happy to be here. We're on our honeymoon. Yes. While The White Lotus, which is on HBO Max, owned by the same parent company as CNN, drove a 300% increase in travel demand to Hawaii and Sicily. And we saw the photograph on Instagram of the leader of Thailand meeting with executives from HBO. Of course, The White Lotus is the hit HBO series. Season three is filming in Thailand. Are you expecting a big tourism boost? Yes, certainly. The number of White Lotus fans is huge, and many fans will want to follow where it's being filmed. Film is one of our soft powers that we're pushing. We welcome every country to shoot their films in Thailand, and we're also offering incentives to foreign filming crews.